Wanna play the guitar I'll write a song Listen to me I'll help you move along I'll give you some tips And by the end of this You won't wanna miss Clay Kearney's bits Hello folks and welcome to my first lesson on how to play the guitar for a real true beginner and um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to advance this very slowly. And then each one of these lessons will be divided into three sections, really. Number one will be a guitar tip. Number two, we'll talk about a songwriting tip. And number three, I'll play you an original song. Okay, so uh, and we'll, we'll get started now, okay? Guitar. Let's start with the guitar. Let's say you're brand new. Uh, you've never played a guitar. You want to play a guitar. It's cool to play the guitar. And do not go spend a whole lot of money because you may not be any good and you'd be wasting your money. You do not need an expensive guitar to learn how to play the guitar. Okay, I learned back when I was six or seven years old with a red cardboard guitar. Uh, it had nylon strings and I was able to learn everything I needed and then until I advanced, I, I realized I was pretty good. So don't go out and spend a, a, a lot of money on a guitar unless you know you can play and you've got the money to do it. Okay, I'm going to show you. This is a little toy guitar. This is probably about 1999 somewhere or uh, Kmart or something. You can play on this. I did tune it. First thing you got to do, your guitar has to be tunable. That's the only thing you need. It needs to be good enough where it's got strings on it that you can tune, okay? And there's a, way, a couple ways to tune it. Let's get it right into tuning. I generally use this thing. This is a, a fancy electronic thing. It costs about $30. You don't need to do this. Um, I actually found this at a guitar store, a tuning fork, it's, it's to, the, to the note E. The first string on, M, on every guitar is it starts with E, let's see, and you hit that thing like that, and yeah, that, that's an E, I wish I could share that with you, I don't know if I can, that's an E, and so when you press an E, okay, this is the easiest way to do it, get this at a guitar store, get it through Amazon, okay, it's just a guitar tuner, it has each one of the notes like a harmonica. And listen to the note. It's already tuned this, but it's all pretty good right now. Okay, so uh, that's the first thing you do. You get yourself a guitar. It's got tunable strings, okay? Uh, the strings, as we go through these lessons, are numbered from one to six. The one will be the one at the bottom, the highest one. Two, three, four, five, six, all the way down the bottom. Okay, these are going to be the bars. Okay, these are the bars. And these are the frets. One, two, three, four. So I tell you to put your first finger on the first string, third frets right there, okay? okay? Okay, let's get started right off the bat now. I want to teach you two guitar chords. I'm going to teach you the G and the D7. The G is going to sound like this, and the D7 is going to sound like this. Now this is on my toy guitar, okay? I'm going to show you, you can really do this on a, on a toy guitar, okay? So you're going to take your first, your third finger here, and put it on the first string, third fret right there. But you're only going to strum the top four, or the bottom four, I'm sorry. Okay? But eventually we're going to learn how to do the bass notes that go like this. But we're going to do it this way, because I want you to get right off the bat. I want you to be able to go start playing some songs right off the bat. So here's what you're going to do. D7 is going to look like this. Like a little triangle. And you're only going to strum the first five on this one. Okay, like that. So... Looks like this. One finger there, the second string, let's go to the third string, and to the first string. Okay, so one, two, and three. G, D7. What you need to do is, is use these correct fingers and go practice doing this. just those two chords and you can play that and again I played this on a, on a toy guitar okay one thing I didn't talk about was the strumming okay let me talk about that just for a minute okay uh, you're starting you're a beginner it doesn't matter you strum any way you can to keep a rhythm if you if, it, if it's easier just go straight down like this do that just get started get started playing okay remember you're only 
we're going to use those four and all those five. Do you want to go back and forth? Okay, so that's all what you, what you do. To, you've got to get started, and that's the key to get started. Okay, so I'm going to uh, come back uh, with an original song now, and hope you enjoyed the first lesson. Okay, bye. Hello, folks. Okay, the song I want to do for you right now is called Backroads. I wrote it a while ago, and uh, it's a simpler song. It has that G in it. It's got the D7 in it that we just learned. It's got a few other things in it, too. Hope you enjoy it. You hurt me, but you don't care. I'm going don't know where. I'm hoping you don't know where you stand Leaving by the back roads you never know I'm gone I'm leaving by the back roads I'm moving on You told me of mine I listen every time but I can't wait around forever I'm leaving by the back roads you never know I'm gone I'm leaving by the back roads I'm moving on times have I told you how many times have I tried highways and dark streets I'm leaving any way I can I'm leaving by the back roads I'm moving on It's over, I have gone I miss him, is it wrong? I remember what I told him on the day I'm leaving by the back roads You never know I'm gone I'm leaving by the back roads I'm moving on How many times have I told you? How many times have I tried? Highways and dark streets I'm leaving any way I can I'm leaving by the back roads I'm moving on Hope you enjoyed it. Backroads.